How's it going to up for us TV? My name is Jack and welcome to a slightly different video from me. Um, I know you've probably heard me say this a, a couple of times recently, but I wasn't able to watch the game today and you know it really it really annoys me when I can't watch matches for us games because obviously I love the club so much and um you know living uh, about two hours away from the ground means I can't always get to games. I can't drive just yet. And um, uh, my dad, you know, if, if he works on a Saturday, I might not be able to get to the game and other things in my life. You know, sometimes um, I can't always watch the forest games. You know, there's all the things that, uh, I, you know, I'm a part of or that I, that I go to and I help out with that sort of thing that unfortunately means I can't always watch every forest match. But um, I try and watch as many as I can and that sort of thing. And, I, you know, I was keeping my eye out on the BBC Sports app and on Twitter and things like that. And I've got a few things, you know, I've seen on Twitter and a few thoughts that, um, you know, I want to sort of bring on, on the game and what I thought about it. Um, you know, I don't think we need to panic too much. Um, obviously, pardon me, obviously, um, Coop wasn't very happy on Tuesday against Barnsley. And, you know... You look at that and you think, hmm, Barnsley are probably, in nearly every statistic, if not all, the worst team in the league. They, yeah, they're having an absolute stinker this season. And, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's, you know, an easy kind of result for any team of any quality uh, in that one. And Cooper wasn't very happy with the way that we were playing and that sort of thing. So maybe if we played like that, you know, against a, a, a Cardiff, we, we might not have, of um, won us comfortably, and um, so maybe it put us under a little bit of false illusions. But I think, you know, it, I don't think it's a place to panic too much. I think people on Twitter are saying, you know, it's one of the worst performances under Cooper and one of the worst sort of um, performances since sort of Chris Hughes. And it was real, um, it was a real sort of, um, what's the word? Um, my mind's just gone blank of the word. Um, a real sort of throwback to the way Chris uh, Hughton had us playing. Um, you know, so it, that doesn't sound great, but I think it's one game. You know, we've lost, what was it now, four under Cooper, three, uh, sorry, two at home, two away. Um, so yeah, I don't think it's, I don't, cause I don't think it's a place to worry too much. Um, we've got some three really big games coming up, Stoke, Blackburn, and Bournemouth. And I know it's a really huge opportunity to make, um, well, to get into the top six, um, missed by us but I do think that it's not really a place to worry all too much I think um, Cooper will expect a response and will no like uh, sorry he will um, most likely get one no doubt get one sort of mix the two phrases together there but I think you know we've got a cup game coming up next and we I've seen people on Twitter who say you know play the youth play a backup side um and then just focus on Blackburn after that and you know I can understand why they're saying that but personally I don't really subscribe to that trail of thought entirely I can you know really see the positives of doing that the pros of doing that you know playing um a weakened side, making sure you don't get any injuries, making sure everyone's fit. I know Grabham was out, had to go off today and hopefully he's not out for too long. Um, you know, playing a, a younger side or a weaker side and, and it's the cup and not letting it hinder the league and things. But I've got two things on that. Momentum is a really big thing in football. And if we can beat Leicester, you know, it's not only going to really boost the players because it's a huge game. You know, it's Leicester, the Premier League side, an East Midlands derby. You know, you can't be playing a weakened lineup against one of your rivals. OK, they're not our main rivals, that's derby, obviously, but they're a rival nonetheless. And to turn up and play a, a weakened side and just get turned over by them, it's, it, you can't do that. You really can't do that. It's making a mockery of it, really, for the fans and, and stuff like that. It's a sellout. Um, it's going to be an absolutely cracking game. I am at the game, um, so I will be able to um, do sort of a... Uh, rather be like I'd actually do if I'd watched the game, but I think it's really important going forward to make sure that we we put out a strong lineup out against Leicester. Okay, it might be a bit of a risk, you know, if that doesn't go well and we lose games, maybe so we lose the game, sorry, quite handedly, maybe it might put a bit of negativity in the camp. But I, I feel with Cooper, he's got the ability to really, um, to really, what would the word be? Get them motivated, get them back on track, get them aiming where they need to be and I think it's a really big game you know that if we win it that the ramifications that it's going to have a huge 
positive, or even if we put in a really good performance and maybe just fall short, it's going to put, uh, you know, it's going to give a real load of belief to the players. They're going to feel as though they are able to keep to pick up things, pick up where we left, where they left off. You know, that win against Derby, that win against Barnsley. You know, to be able to pick up from that and to really be able to. Um, get back on, on track. I don't think it's panic stations. I don't think it's really that place to panic. I, I feel really confident under Steve Cooper. I think he's a manager who's really going to help us to, um, you know, put this behind us. He demands such a high level of performance, a real high level of um, desire and, you know, hunger by the players that he's not going to let them forget this. He's not going to let them repeat this. It's going to be something that he's really going to, Drill into them. It was not acceptable. We're going to go again. Less a big chance to, you know, the fans are going to be on absolute form. You know, it's going to be absolutely incredible atmosphere. You know, I, I expect every corner of the ground, every stand to be in full voice. Um, so, you know, I think it's a really big opportunity, this game coming up against Leicester. And I'll talk a bit more about it coming up. But I think we really need to, you know, in, in my... Um, preview for that but I think it's a really big opportunity to to make sure that we put in a, a, a really good performance and, and get the motivation back going you know I think Cooper's a really good manager he's a really good man manager and I think he's going to be able to whip these players up and get them f you know it's not going to be hard to be on fire for a Leicester game you know in the cup a Premier League side coming to the city ground big chance of another scalp um, and yeah I just don't think we really can play a week in the lineup. Obviously, we we could, but I just don't think it really works. I don't think it's what is needed for this one. I think we need to go all guns blazing and really try and put this right and and really put in a, a, a good performance because I think you know psychologically, pardon me, psychologically, um, the effects of a win against Leicester could be huge for us going forward and really you know spur us on and give us that bit of um, that extra bit of fuel if you will to, to keep going and, and to, to push on and, and put things right so I think that's really important um, but yeah I just think um, you know I just want to say it's not really a place to panic it's not really some something that um, I think we need to worry about too much okay it wasn't the greatest performance everyone has off days you know it's about the next game I think there's something that I really like um, you know I don't know if it's anyone's said it I'm sure most loads of people said it before but it's something that um I like to, to think of when we lose games and it's not about how you lose it's about how you respond and for me I don't think it's really all focused on you know okay we lost 2-1 we were awful you know we were really poor as like Chris Hughes and no attacking you know um, attacking um, intensity um, but for me it's not about how you lose the game it's about how you battle back it's about what you do going forward and I think you know, it, it, I think it's a bit reactionary to play the youngsters, you know, but on the back of a loss, you know, yeah, or play the youngsters, da, 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 we need to focus on the league. I think a win could be huge for us. And I think, you know, if you focus on what you can do in the future rather than dwelling what you did in the past, I think it'll be a really big, you know, it'll really help us. And, and there's no point looking back on what's happened now. you got to focus on what you can do, what you can change. And I think, you know, if we can put out a really strong side against Leicester and, and beat them, it could be absolutely massive. But uh, yeah, I've just um, just wanted to to really say that you know, um, I think Steve Cooper's a great manager, and, he, and I think he he's we're in the right hands with him to help us to bounce back from this. You know, players can have off days, players can not be on form. I think um, you know, Warrell being out is is not the best, and hopefully Graham's not out for too long. If he is, then we'll have to try and bring somebody in tomorrow in the last day of the transfer window. But overall, I'm you know confident that we can. Um, bounce back from this and I don't think it's a loss to really worry about too much um, but yeah um, I've kind of waffled on for nine minutes it's about the same length as, as the videos that I usually do but I just wanted to say really um, I don't think it's anything to worry about too much and I think we really need to go against Leicester and really try and, and put in a performance that really gets the fans believing again um, you know it's a little blip and I don't think fans are thinking oh that's it our season's over but I think a win can really push us on and, and really put that loss behind us and and put a new sort of mindset and mentality around the boys. Um, and uh, yeah, Cooper, I think he's one of the, the the best managers in this league to to have um, to help us bounce back. 
So yeah, um, really excited to see how things go moving forward. Obviously not great to lose a game where we could have been in the playoffs and that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I don't think it's anything to worry about too, too much. So yeah, let us know down below what you think the, the um, about the game and what you think about us going forward. Whether you think we should play a full strength side or a weakened team against Leicester. Um, yeah, if you'd enjoy, smash the like button, subscribe if you are new around here. And come on, you it.